guys, Robboy46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP22 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with 9, we're on to chapter 14 of 17, which is Estoril. The cancellation of the Hungarian Grand Prix, scheduled for 20th of September, means a four-week break. Yamaha have won the last two races at Estoril. What's the Portuguese for good things come in threes? So... We will unlock uh, Jorge Lorenzo's special uh, Estoril livery. So, let's get on with it. So, first one we're playing as Lorenzo. And second part we're playing as Casey Stoner as he makes his return. Man on the moon. Finish him first, please. You need to win them all. It's that simple. Get past Pedrosa and go. Okay, power mapping is on three, which is good. And past Pedroza we go. Oh. We've got to pull away from Pedroza by half a second. We've only got a couple of laps to do this in, so I think this one might be quite a short episode again. And to the chicane. Gone wide. Okay, got over a second on Pedroza. Rossi in third. Oh. For a moment I thought I was uh, out breaking myself and I ended up. Well, for a moment I thought I was breaking too early. And as it turned out, I was out breaking myself. Oh. Yeah, this one is uh, a very short part. Not too wide again. Unlock Spaceman Lorenzo. There we go. Very quick, that one. So next time we get to use Casey Stoner, like I said, as he returns back to racing. I'm back. Finishing second place in front of Rossi and Pedroza. How to silence the critics who say you've lost your edge. Overtake Rossi and Pedroza in the first three laps. Then pull away. Again on power map in two. Oh, this one's only three laps, and we're already, of course, ha well, three quarters of the way around this lap.
Okay. Is that a lap done? We've already got a second on Pedroza. But Lorenzo, what was happening there? He completely came off the throttle, I'm sure. It's like he started braking way too early. Or he just came off the throttle altogether. Good old Estoril. Obviously that long lap loop there wasn't there back in 2009. They've obviously put that in because of World Superbikes. I'm sure when we get the World Superbike game this track will probably look identical. Alright, we've got one more lap after this one. We've got a big lead over Lorenzo as well. This one is going to be a very quick episode. Oh. Too hot into that. Way too hot. But we got a big old lead. This one's been pretty straightforward, like I said, really. It was only, what, four and a half laps total? And that's across both parts of the chapter, so yeah, a very short one, this one. It's probably just going to be about ten minutes, The uh, this whole episode, or just over. There we go, done. Done. So we've only got three left to go. So we go, we have unlocked Lorenzo's official livery from Estoril 2009. So next time we go on to Phillip Island, then we got, well, three races to go. Phillip Island, Sepang and Valencia. That's it. So Sepang will be a slightly longer one because there are six objectives altogether, so three parts. Um, two episodes, but I'm assuming one of them has two parts in. Um, yeah, nearly there, nearly there. Let's go and have a look at, um, Lorenzo's Spaceman outfit, or livery, I should say. There we go. Nice. Alright guys, well I'm going to leave this video here, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch and look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!